These are the five things that I look for when starting a equipment rental business. Now an equipment rental business can be great, it can be rewarding, it can be a great business, but not every one of them is the same. So here are the five things that I look for when getting into a equipment rental business. Number one is the ROI, is the daily rate, is the rental rate. You want the best possible, the highest rental rate possible. You wanna make the most money. You don't wanna rent something, you know, you can charge like 30 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, 40 bucks a day, because it's not really worth it. You're not gonna to wanna to do the work. You're not gonna do the wanna do the deliveries and the pickup, pay the money for the equipment, and then if something happens to the equipment and all that kind of stuff, it's just not enough money. You wanna be making more, right? You wanna be making 100 bucks at least, 200, 300 per day or whatever it is. So you wanna think about what item, what product, what equipment gets you the most money, the most, the highest rental rate. Number two is the liability. You always want to think about the liability. When somebody rents equipment and they're using equipment, whatever it is, they can be anything. You want to think about how likely are they to get hurt or hurt somebody else or mess up the equipment or anything like that because that's just going to give you a headache. You're going to be worried. You might have issues. You might have upset customers. Again, you don't need the headache. Get into something that does not have a lot of liability. Now, that's not necessarily realistic where there's, you know, things that are perfect, but you want to think about it and think of what is the safest thing and what's going to give you the least amount of headaches. Number three is the urgency of the business. And this may not necessarily be important, but for some people it is. How urgent is this rental? How urgently do these customers need the equipment? It can be very urgent where it's an emergency where they call you any time of the day, maybe sometimes in the middle of the night and they need it now. For example, a generator, right? If the power goes out, they need it now. If they have a flood and they need something to, you know, like a water pump to pump out the water, they probably need it right now. Versus other things like maybe party rentals or something like that, where they plan it far in advance, they plan it ahead of time. Usually they're not gonna call you and say, hey, I need these tables and chairs like right now. Sometimes they will, but generally they're like, you know, we're having a party in two weeks. We need this, this and that. We need this equipment. We need that equipment. So. That's up to you if you want to be doing things on the fly and you want to be available all the time, which can sometimes be an asset because, you know, if they need it, they're going to need it right then and there and they're going to pay whatever price they need to pay. But if you don't want to work like that and you want things to be a little bit pre-planned and a little bit slower, more expected and you know what you're getting into, there that's a certain type of equipment and a certain type of business that's more like that. So number four is think about what type of customer you're going to be dealing with. So different equipment and different businesses have different types of customers. For example, in the equipment rental business, usually, usually you want to deal with other businesses. You know why? Because they pay. They pay more money. They don't necessarily haggle and they pay a lot, they need more equipment, and they usually are repeat customers. But not always the case. Sometimes some businesses, they ask for a lot and they have a ton of questions and they have paperwork and all that kind of stuff. So it depends. You know, on the other hand, you might be dealing with, you know, regular people. That comes with, you know, its, its own pros and cons where, you know, they might not want to pay the price right they want to bargain with you or the way they you know treat the equipment or how risky it is renting to like a random person so you always got to think about you know what type of customer are they going to be pleasant to deal with or are they just going to you know pay money and use the equipment and you know give it back the way you know you gave it to them or they're going to mess with it 
and it's gonna get messed up and you can't really trust these people and that kind of stuff. Number five, bet I'm gonna leave the best for last is the demand. You wanna have demand, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, I think you can rent just about anything, any type of equipment. If you find a niche and you focus on it and you don't have many competitors, it doesn't have to be a really high demand item, high demand equipment. It could be something very specific, but you're kind of like the only one doing it and you specialize in it, you could do really well, but you still need demand. And generally, yes, you want something that's in demand so you want to think about things that are you know rented consistently and you can have repeat customers because that's always good repeat business is always great you can sort of rely on it um you know that it's coming that's the five things that i look for if i were to start a uh equipment rental business which again is a great business and can be very rewarding.